Hello Internet. Welcome back to Ox Tools. I'm Tom. So um, you guys saw this uh, super fussy Swedish gauge, uh, the Johansson gauge. Um, this is a reminder, this is a microtur and it measures, it has 10 millionths of an inch increments. So uh, we're going to use our fancy pants gauge here to measure the thickness of a sharpie mark. How thick is a Sharpie mark? That's an excellent question. And um, uh, a viewer posed that question and I immediately saw the utility of doing a video on that. So uh, let's, uh, let's figure out how thick a Sharpie mark is. Okay, so here's our, uh, our, our gauge that we're gonna use. So it would actually be very difficult to actually just put a line down there and measure the thickness of, of, of that line. So what we're going to do instead is I have a uh, uh, a small gauge block here, and this is uh, it's roughly 10 millimeters thick, uh, 400 thousandths. So, oops, me, I have to straddle the gauge here. Let's just slip that in there and uh, adjust our fancy gauge here and zero up on that. Okay. All right, so the idea is that, that this is a clean gauge block, all right, that we can put in and out. There's nothing on the gauge block. So what we're going to do is we're going to put, um, we're going to mark the gauge block, and then we're going to put that side down. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to me be measuring an average of several Sharpie mark lines, okay, uh, because this even this small amount of stylus pressure would probably push through um, the um, the sharpie mark. Okay, so if we kind of spread it out and uh, and average it over several lines, I think we're going to get more consistent results. Okay, so uh, let me show you the other part of the setup, and then uh, we'll get started. All right, so here's the rest of the setup here. So here's our gauge block. We're going to check because I know you guys are already screaming, "Hey, what about the different colors?" Right. So we're going to check all three colors basic colors of Sharpie, okay? Sharpie makes lots of different colors, but uh, we're only going to try three of them today. Um, so what we're going to do is we'll make a series of lines on here. Uh, we'll let it dry a little bit. We'll take a measurement, and then we have to clean it each time very carefully so that we retain our, um, our reference, okay? So, and then I'll be doing it enough times we'll do a, enough measurements that it's a statistically significant number of measurements so that we can draw some kind of conclusion from that. So let's get cracking. Let's check our zero. Okay, I like that. All right, so we're gonna try. Uh, and this is a this is a brand new sharpie, so um, and I'm using very light pressure. Okay, so that'll be our first set of lines. We're gonna let that dry a little bit, and then uh, we'll go take a measurement. All right. And there's our first one. I'm handling it with these these smooth jawed pliers just so I don't introduce any any heat inadvertently. So set that down. And then I'll just quickly stick it in there. Okay. So there's our first number. So one where's my I need a pointer. So the first numbered line right there, that's uh, one ten thousandths of an inch. So we've got uh hundred and forty millionths basically so uh, so it's ten millionths per line so that's a hundred millionths is one tenth and then two more lines so that's hundred and twenty millionths right yeah one hundred twenty millionths okay let me write that down let's keep going okay so let's do it again oh boy that's pretty good uh, so that's one point. That's a hundred and thirty millionths on that one.
and periodically I am I'm checking it with I have a second gauge block that's the same thickness so uh, I'm just checking my zero to make sure that it's staying where I expect it to stay so okay and that one stays on the plate and you know stays the same temperature as the plate okay we taking bets on if blue is thicker or thinner than black okay let that dry all right do we have any uh red versus blue fans out there any bets on whether blue or black is thicker than red Well, you knew you weren't. We weren't going to be able to do this unless we included di good old dicum in this test. All right, one one swipe. Let that dry. Looks like some clown blew his nose here, huh? Okay, here comes the dicum. Let's see who's right. Hopefully, you guys did some guessing. What's it going to be? Thicker or thinner than Sharpie? Ooh. Let's get that blue way under there. How do you like that? Okay. So here's the results of the testing. Um, so what I did was I did 10 runs of each particular flavor. Um, we got black, blue, red, and then here's the dicum, uh, blue dicum and red dicum, okay? Um, and those are the readings that I got uh, taking the measurements. Now, then I summed them and then averaged uh, the uh, all the readings. So it's kind of interesting then you know the uh, these the sharpies are all kind of in a, in a similar range here. Um, you know th this is 118 millionths, 132 millionths, 160 millionths. So all all these readings are in millionths of an inch. Okay, and then here's the the dicum, uh, 300. That's uh, that's three tenths thick, and 2.3 tenths or 236 millionths of an inch thick. So what I found is, uh, uh, I mean, if you just kind of scan these numbers here, um, the, the Sharpie is easier to put on consistently, is what it seems like to me, and just kind of looking at this in general terms, right? Um, and, and that's actually what I discovered in practice was uh, the Dicom was much harder to put on kind of uniformly because you, you have this wet brush uh, where basically you can concentrate on... Uh, uh, on the the same kind of pressure with the sharpie and it has a, a finite tip size so anyway it's kind of interesting so you can figure the sharpies about a tenth thick or a little thicker um, and you know tip condition probably plays a part and uh, dicum is certainly thicker um, so uh, you can actually use these materials as very thin shims in, in certain cases so uh, anyway uh, Thought you guys would like that. That's pretty cool. I uh, uh, I learned something myself, and that's a lot of readings to take. So uh, uh, <laughs> anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed that, and uh, don't forget to subscribe. It helps me out. And if you like this kind of stuff, uh, say so in the comments. Talk to you later.